privilege to come to you from the Wise County Career Technical Center. Today we're going to be visiting with Mr. Robinson and the welding class here at Wise County Career Technical Center. So come on in. Mr. Robinson, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, welding program here at the Wise County Career and Technical Center uh, in regard to exactly what type of welding is it and what do we do? Well, basically, we do a um, we do an entry level welder. Uh, we we teach MIG, TIG, stick welding, uh, all forms. You can get certified here in in any of those through Mountain Empire. But basically, what we do is give you the tools to go get a job and keep a job. Well, I noticed in the talking with some of the students that a lot of these students are already looking for employment before they ever get out of the program, and some of them are already gaining employment. So. Um, do you think that's uh, something that happens on a regular basis? If you go through the program, does it make you pretty employable? Uh, absolutely. Um, I've had several students in the five years that I've been here that um, it's kind of, they get out at what they put in, you know. Those that, that put the effort and the work in, then they're employable. They can go get a job, you know. And this area is, is not as, as big as some of the bigger cities for welding and stuff, but they're, they're still getting jobs here in, in, in our area. Well, students taking your class here at the Wise County Career and Technical Center can also receive dual credit uh, uh, through Mountain Empire Community College, is that correct? Yes, yes. Um, we offer up to nine college credits for our course. Um, you know, six in the first year and three in the, in the second year if, if they choose to do it at a greatly reduced price than what they would, what they would pay if they went to Mountain Empire. So um, it's a great thing. Um, plus it offers a certification test here without ever having to go to Mountain Empire College. Okay, uh, Mr. Robinson, I guess one last question, and that is, um, if I was a student looking to get into the welding program here, can you tell me what particular skills I might need, what might come in handy? Well, uh, just knowledge of tools, knowledge of hand tools, drills, grinders, things like that. Of course, if you have family members that, that showed you a little bit of cutting and welding, that's fine, but that, you know, by no means you have to know any of those things, but just have a good, safe work ethic, you know, and, and a good work ethic. Okay, if you, you want to work, come here and, and, you know, we'll further it from that. Let's talk to one of the students today in the welding class. This is Gabriel. He's a student from Eastside, and today we're going to talk to Gabriel a little bit about the welding program. Gabriel, uh, what exactly, can you tell us exactly what you've been doing here? Um, right now, this is a uh, wood stove oven that we've been building, uh, me and Kevin. We uh, took some pieces apart uh, the other day, and now we're going to put like some, uh, you know, like smoke back through here. We're going to build a door for it. You know, just set it up. Should take about probably like two weeks, maybe. Okay. Well, Gabriel, do you, uh, this is your second year in this program? My third year. Third year. I program. started in like a year early. Okay, great. Um, Gabriel, can you tell me, what do you want to do once you graduate from uh, high school? Uh, well, right now, i got a job at Norrisville, and uh, I'll be working there full time when I graduate. And then the next step is probably working there, getting my experience from the field, and then afterwards, I'll probably go be a boiler maker after I sign up with the Brotherhood of Boiler Maker Union, uh, and build power plants. So. Well, that's great. It sounds like you have a plan. Uh, Gabriel, the skills that you've learned here at the Wise County Career Technical Center, does that help you to, to get the job that you're doing? Most working? definitely. We have a great teacher that taught me everything I needed to know. Like, as soon as when I got hired at Norrisville, it was just like here. Like, there was nothing new to me there. Well, that, that sounds wonderful. Thanks once again, Gabriel, for talking to us about your experiences here at Wise County Career Technical Center. Uh, thank you. I'd like to thank you for joining us today for our visit to the Wise County Career and Technical Center welding program. Once again, if you have any questions about any of our programs here at the Career Center, please make sure to either stop by or give us a call. We'd be glad to talk to you about any of the programs. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later.